water master flow meter, installation, and bonding. Optimal performance of the water master flow meter not only depends on the mechanical installation of the meter but also its electrical bonding and grounding to equalize the potential of all conductive surfaces in the system, in this video we will briefly lay out the steps necessary to properly bond and ground the remote water master flow meter system. Properly installed your water master flow meter will have a local power cut off for servicing, bonding of the transmitter housing to earth, power source bonded to earth, sensor head bonded to one flange, both flanges bonded to their respective ground rings or plates, and if the pipes are conductive, flanges bonded to flanges, it should be noted that you must not ground cathodic protected systems, also all water masters require at least one ground ring upstream. Installation problems arise when the total clearance for installation is not taken into consideration, the meter lay length, total gasket width, and total ground ring or protection plate widths must be determined, surfaces must be clean and free of debris for proper sealing and torquing. Gaskets are required for sealing two irregular surfaces, for proper installation there should be a gasket on both sides of a ground ring, you do not have to remove a protection plate to install a gasket between it and the meter flange, the gasket is provided by the customer and is selected for compatibility with the process. Align the gaskets, ground rings and flanges straight and level and install the appropriate hardware required for the specified flange and required torque. The specific hardware and torque are determined by the customer, follow the appropriate torquing procedure to secure the meter to the pipeline. For conductive pipes, bond the meter flange to the ground ring, then the ground ring to the connecting pipe flange, for non-conductive pipelines do not connect the ground ring to the connecting pipe flange. If you are using two ground rings, connect the meter flange to the ground ring, then the ground ring to the connecting pipe flange, if you are only using one ground ring on the upstream side connect the meter flange to the connecting pipe flange, if your pipe is non-conductive connect the meter flange to the ground ring. The sensor head is mechanically connected to the flow tube body and must be bonded to the meter body flange, use a 14 gauge or greater wire on the upstream flange to provide this bond. The flow tube signal cable should be prepared as specified in the water master user manual, the cable should be routed through its own conductive conduit for optimal noise suppression with no other wiring or cables, the cable length should be kept as short as possible, looping excess cable and splicing additional cable is prohibited, all wiring on the meter must be performed with power disconnected from the meter. In many installations the transmitter housing is left ungrounded, many installations assume that bolting the housing to a metal frame is sufficient, it is not, the housing ground lug provides earth for the safety ground and equalizes the potential between the power source earth, the housing earth and the meter body it also provides protection from surge events. The final step in the installation process would be to connect the transmitter to the power disconnect and apply power to the system, the meter should now be tested and checked for errors in the diagnostics menu then commissioned by executing the easy setup program. This is Cliff McEwen, thank you for watching and please subscribe to my YouTube channel for additions and updates. If you have any questions or comments please contact me at abbwarminsterflowguys at gmail.com.